Hello and welcome to my process video. This is for counterfeit kit challenge number one. Snip snip. So some fussy cutting. So I fussy cut out some flowers from this pretty paper but they have green centers so I've fussy cut out um, some of the pink spots on the paper and just some random shapes from the grey to get new centers and stuck them down. And they're ready to go. Now I just need to pick my papers. So right now I'm just trying to work out what paper I want as my background, what paper I want as my layers with this photo of my daughter. And just cutting some scraps to create layers and then playing with my fussy cut flowers to see if they're going to work how I want them to work. Just I'm getting a basic idea before going any further because I have no plan for this layout. It was just let's just start playing with these supplies and see where it takes us. <laughs> um, as is often the case when I'm scrapbooking. Um, so I've decided I want to include a bead, half beading white flower and one of my handmade paper flowers that I made which I'll link the video in the description. I've decided to add some gauze and yeah I'm just I'm now trimming things up so I've trimmed the gauze so that there's no waste. I'm trimming that piece of scrap yellow so I can flip it and use the other side. I've trimmed out a window from my background paper so I can save it because it's the only sheet I've got and I love it. Time for some black ink splats and now time to stick things down. And I do make the mistake of sticking my gauze a little too far to the right but that's okay because that's just an opportunity to um, evolve my layout further by adding more stuff <laughs> which I intended to do anyway and it just it helped the layout evolve me making that mistake. Now I'm adding my fussy cut flowers and they um in the end result I'm really happy with. I've unfortunately smart gotten some ink on my side of my hand and managed to get it on my layout so I need to cover that over. I've added this cute sticker from the set that my husband got me when he's heard about the 80% off sale he went and collected it for me and now I'm just working out where I want to put different flowers. I decide to go with the gold half flowers instead of the blue half flowers because there's some gold in the sticker so I just wanted to pull that through the layout. And then I decide to um, add some pink paper roses from Kazercraft to just cover up some a bit of ink that's gotten on one of the navy blue flowers and just and I'll just add more as I go just to create more balance. I was checking just then if a charm would, if I was happy with that charm that I'd selected, but I wasn't. Um, so once I've got my roses down, I start trying to figure out how I'm going to cover that ink smudge. Um, so I try my resin flowers from Delish Scraps. I try my, um, some stickers. Um, and I consider some, um, some flare badges. Um, the flare badge I was actually considered like putting in the cluster. Um, and I can I decide to go with the other one of my handmade paper flowers because um, I just wasn't happy with DIY enamel dot on the page. There is my finished layout. I'm actually really happy with my end result. Thank you for watching.